What's going on everybody? This is Jason Smith here from TVM Brakes and I wanted to take a minute to go over one of our frequently asked questions and that is what master cylinder should I be running with your TVM Brakes drag systems? Um, I'm about to go over some information here and this can relate to all forms of motorsports but the examples and stuff that I'm using will be tailored towards uh, you know, drag specific applications. Um, the real question you should be asking is, is what master cylinder bore size and pedal ratio combination do I need to achieve the appropriate amount of line pressure while still giving you the pedal feel that you desire? Line pressures. Line pressure is your input force times your pedal ratio divided by your master cylinder bore size. The line pressures you want to be seeing is roughly 750 to 850 PSI under normal applied force, and you want to be able to get over 1,200 PSI um, under what I would say 90% max effort. Um, popular master cylinders and drag racing applications over the years have been an inch and an eighth or an inch and a 32nd bore. And these have been common for a few reasons. One, primarily, you know, a lot of systems run a four piston caliper up front and or, you know, dual four piston calipers at each wheel in the rear. Those systems require a lot of volume. Well, when you go to a single four piston caliper at each wheel in the rear and a dual piston caliper on the front, you don't need all that volume. What you need is line pressure. Um, so this might blow some people's minds here, but going to a smaller master cylinder is going to increase that line pressure, uh, whereas going to a bigger board master cylinder will move more volume, but decrease that line pressure. So let's take an example here. Let's say you've got a five to one pedal ratio and a, an inch and a 30 second master cylinder. At 100 pounds of force at that brake pedal, you're gonna be seeing around 600 PSI. And it's gonna take roughly 200 pounds of force to get that 1200 PSI mark. Now let's say you're like, oh, well, I need, that must mean I need a bigger board master cylinder. Well, let's see what happens if, when you do that. If you move to an inch and an eighth board master cylinder, that 100 pounds of force of that brake pedal is now gonna yield a little over 500 PSI and is gonna take 240 pounds of force at the pedal to get that 1200 PSI range. But if you were to go to a 7 8 board master cylinder, that 100 pounds of force at the brake pedal will yield 830 PSI and will only take roughly 145 to 150 pounds of force to get to that 1200 PSI range. But anytime you're, you're giving here, there, there's a take somewhere else. So the smaller the master cylinder you start getting into, the more pedal travel is, that is required to move the same amount of fluid. Um, so what is the right answer? Well, there's not a, a right answer for every individual because, you know, depending on, your, on the size of the driver, a, a 300 pound driver can apply a lot more force than a 100 pound driver. So it's, all, it's finding that happy medium. But I would say a, a six to one pedal with a 15 16 board master cylinder is a great starting point. That's gonna yield roughly 860 PSI at 100 pounds of force and you'll be able to achieve that 1200 PSI at uh, 140 pounds of force. It'll take about an inch and three eighths worth of pedal travel to get everything engaged. Um, and, and that seems to be a very comfortable feel. But if you prefer you know, a stiffer pedal and re rather apply more force, I'd maybe go up to an inch. Or if you'd like you know, less leg effort and don't mind a little bit more travel, um, you, know, you can go to a seven eighths. Um, now, if you're converting from like a power system to a manual system, you probably have a two to one, three to one, four to one pedal ratio. That is something that you want to modify or, or change right away. Uh, for example, if you have a three to one pedal and you're running the, an inch and a 30 second board master cylinder, you're only get 350 PSI at hundred pounds of force. And it'll take roughly 350 pounds of force to get 1200 PSI. So you want to modify that pedal ratio to give yourself something closer to six to one. How do you measure for pedal ratio? It's two easy measurements. It's the distance from the pivot point, the center of the pivot point, to the center of the pad where you're applying pressure. And you divide that number by the center of the pivot point to the center point of the master cylinder push rod. 
So if that first measurement's 12 and the second measurement's two, 12 divided by two is six, you have a six to one pedal. Um, I hope this helps uh, a few of you. If anybody has any questions or needs help, you know, setting up their brake system, you can reach me uh, at the office at 805-987-7867 or shoot me an email knowing that I'm going to be wanting to know what your pedal ratio is and what your current master cylinder size is. Um, but you can shoot me an email to Jason, J-A-S-O-N, at tbmbrakes.com. Hope you all are good and take care.